Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action, and today I want to make this very, very, very quick video, hopefully. Uh, just to raise a suggestion, re request, hopefully, or uh, maybe something that will eventually come to pass because of uh, the way the story is going. Alright, so, there is this bug that has to do with operators and Warframes. It's this. I've been using it a lot during the stream, I've been using it pretty much like with any and all videos to do with operators when I have them sort of standing in front of or standing right next to the Warframe. So this is a bug. What's happening right now where the Warframe is in idle mo idle position and the Warframe, uh, the, the operator is also sort of being able to move around, that is actually a bug. That is actually not the intent, okay? And the reason why we know this is because if we actually do, if we actually go into operator mode as D has intended, we will do that right now. I press it 5. The Warframe will then assume T position. T pose, as it's normally co called. Although this is not really a T pose, it's a bit of a T different kind of T pose. So you'll end up finding yourself with your Warframe like that. That is what is supposed to happen, okay? That is actually, that is what DE has intended. I think it's high time that we just made it so that when you're when you jump into operator mode your warframe can just kind of do its little thing as it goes into idle operate idle idle operation idle mode into its idle animations without having to uh, press 5 and then press the escape button really, really quickly. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is lore appropriate, but we have seen at least one instance where our Warframe has acted independently without the operator's control, or, yeah, without the operator's direct control. Specifically, in the second dream, uh, the Warframe was able to pull the broken, well, to pull the war sword out of itself by snapping it in half, by pulling out one of its limbs, uh, without the, di well, at, at least that's what, what that's what we're under the impression of, without the direct, um, what is it, direct control of the Warframe, and we know for a fact that at least one Warframe was created through the, the infestation of a particular soldier, that would be Excalibur Umbra. He was, of course, uh, created through the infestation of a Dax soldier, a very high-ranking Dax soldier by uh, Executor Bellus. But I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure it ha if that has if that is the way that we are making the other Warframes, especially since we make all of our other Warframes using the Foundry. Even the Primes. I'm not a hundred. I'm not. I don't think we're at the point where we can confirm that primes are made through the infestation of Oricon warriors as opposed to some other thing. Uh, obviously, warframes are made from infestation, but whether they're infested dudes with still some consciousness left, it's not 100% sure. So, I don't know. Like, maybe if this is a feature that D has slated for, say, a quest, either being the new war or some other quest other than the new war, that fully dives into the very nature of what a Warframe, and by Warframe I actually, I'm referring to most likely the, uh, the, 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 the current generation Warframes as opposed to your Primes from ages ago, or Excalibur Umbra from ages ago, I'm, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll have a well. Maybe we'll have a quest that d dives into that and confirms that the warframes that we make apparently have some form of consciousness. Or maybe not. I don't know. But I think it's high time that we just have this as a thing, be a feature, not a bug. That's it. Uh, let me know what you guys reckon. Um, I always use the bug to walk around as my operator and have my warframe just sort of doing stuff. I don't know if you would. Let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And as per usual, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.